给你二十了。It's your girl Jay and today I am here with my September favorites for 2019. I actually don't have too too much to talk about this time around so it might be under 10 minutes for once so without further ado let us get started. So I actually don't have any experiences to talk about this month because I started teachers college and that's basically consumed my life so I haven't really had the opportunity to do anything other than school and work so nothing to update you guys on there so I guess we'll go straight into like things that I loved this month so the first things are kind of like a double package they are these two unicorn plushy stuffies this one is Shirley this is Maureen my boyfriend actually won them for me at an arcade because he like loves Splitsville arcade so we go there a lot and these are the two little unicorn friends that I made so I guess that's kind of an experience going to the arcade but it happens so often that it's not really an experience anymore it's just a weekly thing that we do but I love them they're so squishy and like lovable and their names Shirley and Maureen because I named this one Shirley and then I couldn't decide what to name this one and Ricardo my boyfriend was like well my mom worked with this girl named Maureen and there was a girl named Shirley at her work so Shirley and Maureen so thus became Shirley and Maureen but I love them I think they're so cute and this one kind of looks like a pig with a horn and for some reason that makes me laugh so the next thing that I want to talk about is my owl candle this is actually a charmed aroma candle which means that it has like a piece of jewelry inside of it so me and my mom shout out to my mom she's also a favorite went to charmed aroma because it actually just opened in our mall which is like a huge deal because it's an American company and they're not in Canada and now there's one in Canada and they cost like a thousand dollars to ship to Canada but now we have one in our mall we've gotten so many candles from charmed aroma but we usually get the ring candles except we kind of avoid the ring candles now because me and my mom have really weird ring sizes like I'm personally a five and a half so they don't make half sizes in the rings candles so a five is way too small but a six is way too big so doesn't work for me and then my mom has like size eight or something like that and we found that the bigger the ring size the uglier the ring is <laughs> with these candles so we kind of stick to the necklace candles more often. The necklace that I used to wear that's in like all of my videos was a Charmed Aroma necklace but then I got this Lion King one and it kind of took over my life. I would suggest y'all check out the owl candle just because all of the necklaces were really pretty in it. Like I wouldn't be upset if I got any of them. Sometimes you like see the collection that you could get in a candle and you're like ooh if I get that one I'm gonna be upset. But this one had all pretty ones so not mad about any of them but it's like a vanilla-ish smell I think it's kind of like a fall scent which makes sense for owls I think a fall when I think of owls which I don't know if that makes sense or not but I do so I don't know next thing I'm going to talk about is kind of like a lot of things in one I broke my Fitbit this month and so I had to order a new band for my Fitbit because it wouldn't stay on my wrist. It would like fly off because it was broken, duh. So I went on Amazon and I actually found a deal for 10 different color bands for $20, which if you buy one in store it's like seven dollars so I think that I made a pretty good purchase I could be wrong because math is not my strong suit but these are the colors that it came with I'm also just wearing black right now because black goes with everything but sometimes I like to switch it up but I really really like this one I've already worn it which is why it looks different from these ones this one's a favorite and I really like the rose gold because all of my jewelry is rose gold so it kind of goes with it but I'm currently wearing black just because black goes with everything when I changed it from like the teal it was because I was wearing like a red dress and teal and red don't really go together so I just changed it to plain black because I don't have a red in my little collection now I kind of just want every band color imaginable now because I think it's fun to like coordinate but that's just me. Okay, now I guess I can talk about like books that I enjoyed. There's two of them that I have that I gave five out of five stars. I don't give five out of five stars often, I don't think. So when I do give five out of five stars, I get really excited about the books. So the first one is Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I love this 
book so much. I'm planning on having a full review of it up on my channel. I just have to like sit down and actually film it because I have a lot of thoughts for it, but it is so good, so atmospheric. It's about these two sisters who want to go to Caraval, which is like this traveling performance where the audience gets to participate in the performance. They've been trying to go for years now and then they finally get an invitation so they decide to go with the help of a mysterious sailor and when they arrive there Tella, one of the sisters, goes missing and then the other sister, Scarlet, discovers that the whole point of Caraval this year is to find Tella before it's too late and it's like the story of that but it's really good. Highly recommend if you haven't picked it up, definitely pick it up because it's really 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 good. And then I also have a graphic novel, it's called Snapdragon, it's by Kat Lay, and it actually doesn't come out until February 2020, so like a little bit away, but I had the opportunity to read it early, and it is so good. Five out of five stars, probably one of my favorite graphic novels other than Check Please, because we all remember how much I raved about Check Please. It's about this little girl named Snapdragon, and she ends up running into the local witch of the town, and she learns magic from this witch and it's just such a like cute story and it has like very serious elements in it but it's done in such a great way. It talks about a person who is transgender and like going through their transition but it's done in such a respectful way that's like not a huge part of the story like it's not a vocal point it's just part of the story and it's done so well and I just think it's a really really nice story and I just like highly recommend everybody check it out when it comes out because like it's worth it. And now it's time for food because I always have a ridiculous amount of food favorites because I just really like food okay. So the first one pumpkin seeds. I went to the bulk barn and I just got like salted pumpkin seeds already shelled because having to shell these things too much time and too much effort. I just want to eat them. So this has definitely been a favorite. It always comes around in the fall time, like September, October, November is when the bulk barn actually has them. And I get so excited for that season just for the pumpkin seeds. I've been obsessed with peanut butter pretzels from Costco. It's basically the Kirkland signature, which is Costco brand. They are so addictive. Like I will sit here and eat this entire tub if I could, but they kind of take your spit away. So like you need a lot of beverage in order to eat a lot of them but they're just so good they taste delicious and I highly recommend y'all check out Costco just for the peanut butter pretzels and then the final thing that I'm going to talk about are these cookies that I have been obsessed with I literally made my mom go buy another package so that I could talk about them in this video because we eat them so quickly in this house that like we'll buy them and then a day later they're gone so I don't want to hold up an empty package so we literally went out and got a brand new package just for this but they are coconut caramel and fudge cookies by great value I think they're a knockoff of like a bigger brand you know the ones with like the little elf I don't know if you know what I'm talking about but they're like a knockoff brand but they are so addictive they're so dang good they literally last only a day in our house because we're all obsessed with them that's an indication of how good they are highly recommend I'm obsessed we've gone through like eight packages in the past two weeks I'm not gonna talk about any music this time around because I actually have just been listening to the lover album for the past three months since it came out is August, September, October. Yeah, three months. It's October right now. And I literally just have it on repeat. So... And then I want to talk about a show that I absolutely loved this month. I don't really watch a lot of TV, so when I find something that I really like, I usually binge the entire thing. So the show that I binged this month was unbelievable. It's a true crime story about a girl who was raped one night, and when she reports it to the police, they don't believe her. So it's basically her story of what's going on with all of that. But then is also another story in a town over where another rape occurs and they're trying to catch that suspect and it kind of all links together in the end but it's just such a good story and I just like highly recommend watching it just because it's so addictive and like you want to know what happens next. It's obviously a very like triggering show so if that's something that triggers you don't watch it because it's a lot to handle but it's really 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 good all right everybody so that was my favorites for september 2019 let me know down below a couple of your favorites for this month and i'll see you all in my next video goodbye